So Jamila Lemieux. Now, if anybody know who Jamila Lemieux is, she is a black woman that is a feminist. Now, this woman, me and her had exchange in the past. She's always leading the brigade to attack black men and blame black men uh, for certain things that we haven't even done. Um, we are the most hated people, according to women like her. Now, women like her are not about trying to unify the black community so we could fix our problems, fix our family uh, structure, and do something to help save our children and the betterment of our community. It's all about causing division, and that's why I take issue with people like Jamila Lemieux. Now, in the past, me and her got into it because when something happens with black men, they want to come out and jump people like Bill Cosby and Chris Brown, but when it's a Caucasian white supremacist uh, terrorist or a race soldier doing something to black women, they're quiet as a mouse. Me and her went back and forth when Charlena Lyles was killed. And I told her, I said, sister, what are we going to do about Charlena Lyles? I mean, this is a black woman who were killed, and yet she didn't want to say anything. She didn't want to lead any marches. She didn't want to do a thing uh, to help out Charlena Lyles, a fellow black woman supposed to be a sister, don't do anything only if um, her Caucasian feminist females uh, jump on black men. So that was my issue uh, with her. Now, there was a screenshot of a tweet that she sent out um, and Tarina, she caught it. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh no, I have to say something about that. But I say it with you guys. And I can say this to her face, it doesn't bother me none. But let's put up this particular tweet. So she says, I will sue you at PayPal. My card just failed and I have money in my account and you embarrass me in front of some white folks. This must never happen again. Now, it's a lot of issues with it. Now, PayPal, yeah, PayPal can shut accounts down. PayPal can shut cars down. Cars can malfunction. Could be the card reader. It's a lot of things that can cause that. And, and, and you know, so, but my issue is, why is a grown woman using PayPal to pay for things in the store? Now, it is not wise to do that. And I'm gonna tell you why. PayPal has been known to shut accounts down. And if she would know that you only use PayPal to put something in a PayPal account and then you move it to your bank account. So why is it she wasn't using her debit card out of her bank to do that? Because the banks are a little bit more reliable than PayPal. And then the way PayPal have it is now you can on the app, when you get money in there, if you attach your debit card, you can hit transfer and it'd be in your bank account in like seconds. So there's no reason to have that issue, but that's PayPal. But she stated that you embarrassed me in front of some white folks. That's more so the issue for me than the PayPal situation. So would it made a difference if this car situation happened in front of black people? Would it make a difference if it happened in front of Hispanics or Asians or Arabs or Native Americans? Would it make a difference? No, it would make a difference, but she's so concerned that it happened in front of white folks and she was embarrassed in front of them. And that is the slave mentality because I remember growing up and I didn't, of course, I didn't know anything much about white supremacy and racism at that time period. But I remember my grandmother would say, well, look, you get in this store, don't be acting up and, and uh, causing a scene and in front of them white folks. And, and I and I always wanted to say, as a kid, and I asked my grandmother, I said, well, why just white people? I mean, like, should it be everybody? But you know, you can't be questioning too long for, you know, you get uh, told something about being smart mouth. So I couldn't press it too much. But as I've gotten older, I have learned, it is the slave mentality that says, don't say this in front of white people. Um, you don't want to be embarrassed in front of white folks. Now, mind you, white people aren't telling you to don't say certain things in front of them. They're not telling you to act a certain way in front of them. White people aren't telling you any of that. That is you with a slave mentality that has carried over from hundreds of years and you're on autopilot with a slave mentality. And this slave mentality has contributed to the great cowardice that we have in the black community. 
we are so cowardice that we rather deal with white supremacist terrorism than actually free ourselves. We don't want to connect with the global African diaspora because we have a slave mentality. We have a lot of cowardice that we rather deal with the racism than possibly unifying globally with our uh, brothers and sisters. There are so many people, and I'm going to do a Patreon video about that. When I posted an interview uh, with the sister from the Gambia, sh she's not the issue at all. The commenters was the issue. It was white trolls and black coward, slave-minded people. And I'm going to have to do a public stream pissing people off in our community, talking about the cowardice of our community. We have gotten to the point that we are cowards. We don't stand up for ourselves. We don't stand up for our children. Our children are begging us daily to do the right thing. They need it. When you saw those children in Baltimore freezing in a school, our children shouldn't be freezing in the school and we're spending a trillion dollars a year. We should have schools for our children that have heat in them so they can learn in a comfortable environment. But we'd rather put all our faith and trust in a democratic party that does not have our best interests at heart. This is the, th the slave mentality I'm talking about. So you hear me talk about the democratic party. It is more so that they have not done what they have said they would possibly do. They just throw buzzwords. They just say they have hot sauce. They go on black radio stations all because you're going to automatically give them your political power for nothing. And that's a slave mentality. Oh, I'm only happy unless the Caucasian man and woman is leading me. I can't lead myself. Just like you had a lot of black folks get pissed off at me about the video of the young Turks. You should have seen how they was caping. All oh, feel their allies and all oh, feel you're wrong. And there it is. I don't even see them defending black folks in that way. I don't, but it's a slave mentality. That, that in cowardice that we have all the things that we deal with in society, yet we still with the slave mentality, we still have this young woman saying that you embarrassing me in front of some white folks. I mean, it's, it's just utterly ridiculous. And this is something that I have to fight against because if you could break the mental chains of what's wrong with black people, then we'll make a change. It's not that we don't have the strength. It's not that we don't have the capital. It's not that we don't have the know-how to do it. We are just chained here. And more of us are slaves here. We're not slaves here. Now, some of us are slaves here in jail, but the majority of us have the slave mind right here. We are cowards here. We create scenarios in our mind to make us have fear to do for ourselves, to fight for our children. We feel comfortable dealing with racism. We actually are comfortable in that. And that's actually sick. Most of us, unfortunately with that mind have Stockholm syndrome and Stockholm syndrome will f have an affinity for those who are abusing and oppressing you. You will actually love them and think that's okay. And that's them showing love to you. This is the issue that we, a lot of us have. So when you look at other groups of people that come into this country, they don't have that mentality. Now, some of them may be shucking and jiving, but I know some people shuck and jive to hustle and some people shuck and jive because they actually still have a love and affinity. They give up too easy. And that's the biggest issue as within our community. We will attack black men and women that want to show you the right way or want to show you say, Hey, well, let's do things for ourselves. This is what we will do. And it, it's, it's extremely sad that that happens. So a lot of times I'm not only fighting against white supremacist terrorists, I'm fighting against black people who have a slave mentality and who want to walk in the spirit of cowardice and want to keep under white supremacy. Remember in 1865, when the slaves finally got the word that they were free, there were many slaves that said, I don't want to leave you master. I want to stay here. I want to work for you. What I'm going to do. And the master had to make them go. They didn't want to go. Now you had brothers and sisters say, shoo, I'm getting my stuff. I'm out of here. 
I, I'm, I'm get. I gotta go. I'm free. I'm gonna make my life how it is. But then you had many of them that did not want to go, and we still have that to this day. I had more black folks with the slave mentality attack me about even mentioning an African nations or going to visit or seeing what we can do. And guess what? The background that you see right now, you know what city that is is in the background in this video? Nairobi, Kenya. I'm going to even show you on Patreon some of the hotels that's over there, some of the homes, and it looks no different than any American city, let's say in Nairobi, right? But unfortunately, a lot of black people in this nation have allowed the Caucasian media to show you the hood of Africa, right? The hood's everywhere. Notice when people from African nations see America, they don't see the hood. They see Vegas, they see New York, but they don't show them the hood. Well, they do that by design because they want to keep you with a slave mentality and they really don't want you to leave. I firmly believe that they don't want you to leave because if you leave, a lot of things are going to leave with you. But what this female is doing here, that got to stop. I'm sick of it. So when you hear me in my videos attacking certain things and you hear me going hard, it's not that I'm being mean. It's the fact that I have to break the chains of slavery in your mind so we could free ourselves and be better in our community. So, you know, thank you everyone for uh, watching. I appreciate all the people who has joined us here. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for being a part of helping us to support the platform. We, we really appreciate that. We cannot depend on YouTube and we feel that the best way is the uh, unity of the people. And I'm definitely working very hard to keep posting content here uh, to make it worth your while um, in the process of me trying to build a public platform as well. So um, I'm definitely working and um, going to leave more people to try to come here to enjoy uh, the video. So thank you for your time. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular tweet and the slave mentality, because that has to stop.